Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Howard Metcalf, Director of the South Carolina Division of Veterans Affairs, will now introduce South Carolina's First Lady, Mrs. Peggy McMaster, followed by the reading of the proclamation. Thank you, Sam. Well, the only word that I can use uh, to describe this young lady is class. Uh, uh, when I think about uh, Ms. Peggy McMaster's and what her call to duty has been, I, I can always recall that a friend of hers asked her what would be her main issues that she would concentrate on by being the first lady. And the first thing that she uttered, the first word she uttered was, I want to make sure that veterans and their families are taken care of. So having said that, not only did she just speak the words, but she's walking the talk. She is the spokesperson for the Fisher House. And the Fisher House is going to be a house built for families of veterans who are in the hospital who have to travel a long distance to be able to stay with their loved ones as they are being treated. That is why we are building the Fisher House. And Ms. Peggy McMasters is the head of the push for to get the funds to build the Fisher House. All in all, every time I've ever asked her to do anything for veterans, she have not hesitated for one moment. And that's why I say go back to the beginning. If I say anything uh, that I can introduce this young lady, it is about class, it is about caring, and it is about where her heart is. So it is a great pleasure for me to introduce to you and to present to others one of my favorite people on the other side of the governor is <laughs> His better half, Miss Peggy Magnus. I wasn't expecting all of that. But he's funny. You know he's funny. He's good to be around. Well, because everybody's got a, a proclamation, a copy of it, I'm just going to make some just pull out some of the comments and then I'll finish up with the last whereas and we'll get this done. So, did you know, 71 years ago, President Harry Truman signed into law the Women's Armed Service Integration Act, which allowed women to serve as permanent members of the military for the first time. And today we recognize the anniversary of that historic day as we celebrate the sacrifice made by the courageous women who answer the call to serve our great country. There are more than 50,000 women veterans who call South Carolina home today, and they all deserve our gratitude and support today and every day. Young girls throughout South Carolina and the country should look up to these women, recognizing there's nothing in this world they cannot accomplish. So Henry and I both thank them from the bottom of our hearts for their service and for the example they set for little girls everywhere. So whereas recognizing the tremendous sacrifices of women veterans while in uniform, South Carolina Women's Veteran Day celebrate and commemorate 71 years of service, dedication, sacrifice, and valor to our nation by women veterans. Now therefore, Henry McMaster, governor of the great state of South Carolina, does hereby proclaim today, June 12, 2019, as South Carolina Women Veterans Day throughout the state and encourage all South Carolinians to pause to reflect on the sacrifices of all women veterans who have put on the uniform to serve in the United States military and celebrate their achievements and extraordinary contributions to our state. So, who do I give this proclamation to? And this is, I mean, there's the real proclamation somewhere. This is just. Yes, yes. But there's one that has the real seal. Yeah. Somebody's got that. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs>